friends. Welcome to another vlog. Today is exciting because my family is here. We're walking over to the train station right now to go pick them up. What up? Hi. Chris. Oh. Hi. Now, what is it, 9.30? Almost, almost 10, almost 10. And we're gonna go to a pub, get some beverages. Yeah. Maybe. The parentals have chosen to stay behind. It's a Wednesday and everything closes at 11. I am not much of a beer drinker, but I love cider. We always walk by this place, so let's go check it out. Which one did you get, Austin? I got the the lemon, the lemon one that that guy recommended. Cool. Yeah. Then I got the pineapple raspberry. Tried and true. I ain't a Guinness. Keep it simple. Cheers. Woo. Woo. Same way then as a. It'll be fine. As an as an American gonna, state, it's, yeah, it's not like what first is over here. So, okay, yeah, it'll be good. First year, right? A few moments later. There's some ponies. Welcome to New Forest. How was your first driving experience? It's not bad. You gotta fight that impulse. If something jumps out at you, don't swerve right. <laughs> That'd be bad. <laughs> Time to get some lunch. What'd you guys get? summer plate. I got a pie. This pie would come back to haunt me. Jeff got a pulled pork pizza and Austin went for the classic pepperoni. The new forest region is known for its heathland, forest trails, and native ponies. The region isn't easily accessible with public transportation, so a car is essential for visiting. The ponies are free roaming, so if you decide to come visit new forest, make sure you're always alert when driving. We stopped by the village of Brockenhurst. Brockenhurst is the largest village by population within the New Forest. There weren't a lot of people on the road, so when we spot a small herd, we were easily able to pull over the car and I was able to get out and take some photos. They're coming towards us. Oh gosh. All right, I'm going back in the car. <laughs> They're reuniting. Some of the ponies have reflective collars on them, which I learned is so they can be seen at night by motorists. To end our day in New Forest, we drove through the Boulderwood Deer Sanctuary, which reminded me a lot of Sequoia National Park in California. Unfortunately, we had no luck spotting any deer. Whew. We survived. Oh my gosh, that was so good. <laughs> Remember that pie that I told you would come back to haunt me? Hi, friends. We're home now, um, had a great time, um, except I got food poisoning. Eight hours later. Well, I feel about 80% better. So I guess I'm going out today. Despite me feeling a little bit queasy still and the rain wanting to make an appearance, we set off for our next part of our journey, which was the Cotswolds. So there are four villages that we're going to be visiting today. The first is Castle Coombe. So 
Um, when you're visiting this place, you have to park outside of the village and then walk in because there's nowhere to park vehicles. So be aware of that. Castle Coombe is a quintessentially English village, often named as the prettiest village in England. It is situated on the southernmost edge of the Cotswolds and is approximately 12 miles from Bath. It has been featured as a film location in such films as Stardust and Steven Spielberg's War Horse. Reading Room Cottage. Originally, it was a British hill fort which became occupied by the Romans. By the Middle Ages, the village had become an important center for the wool industry. I'm probably gonna sound like a broken record, but <laughs> everything is beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's cute. I love it. Within Castle Coombe is St. Andrew's Church, which dates back from the 13th century. The church houses a faceless clock, which is apparently one of the oldest working clocks in England. Welcome to Borton on the Water. Let's go on and forget yesterday. Hey, hey. One of these is not like the others. Known as the Venice of the Cotswolds, this village offers attractions, shops, restaurants, cafes, and tea rooms. Village number three, Burford. Burford is popular for its shopping, especially antiques. So it's just past five, which means everything is starting to close down. So there's no shops that we can go in. So I think we're gonna head back to the car and just do a drive through. And then off to our final village for today. What the heck kind of duck are you? Baby swans. Hi, we don't have any snacks, sorry. And the final village that we're visiting is Bybury. Today has been a lot of fun. I'm really glad that my food poisoning only lasted a day because I would have been so bummed to have missed the Cotswolds. Let's go, gang!
This is the perfect time to come here. There's hardly anyone here. This is probably the best of the four ones we saw today, right? I don't know, the first one was really nice too. I like, yeah, first and last. What in the world? I wonder if these are vacation homes or if people live in these right, right now or? I don't know, or maybe they're part of like the National Trust or something. I don't imagine anyone lives here. I kind of feel like they're just for look-sees. I have no idea. I think, I think some people live here, right? I don't know.